Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. O Y A A A A A H A H I H I H Jingle fucking bells, assholes. It's finally that time of the year again. Papa Flemmy's advent calendar is going to start today. You heard it in the intro already. It's so exciting. It's the most stressful time of the year for me, but a good time for many other people um, when watching these videos. As an introduction, if you're not familiar with the advent calendar yet, always a link down there in the description to the whole playlist and 24 videos from today up until the 24th of December. Um, yeah, ranging from one to three minutes. I say this every year, but there's, there's never a video this short except for the shorts on the playlist. But this really doesn't matter. I hope you are going to join the advent calendar and as per every year, you're going to get great discounts in my Teespring shop over on stemmerge.com and this year also on stemmerge.eu too. Information, coupon codes, etc. all down there in the description, like 10% of all the stores, etc. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And we are going to start the advent calendar, advent calendar, I don't give a fuck, off with an improvised session. Namely, someone became a Patreon supporter of myself a while ago and he asked me to solve this integral. Namely, it's the one from zero to infinity of x to the negative natural log of x integrated with respect to x. And I'm fairly certain that I can solve it in an improvised session. And I hope you're going to enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. So my first initial thought when I see something x to the something f of x power is to turn this into an exponential function basically. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. Oh, such beautiful integral symbols. I'm, I'm in the zone today, my boys. We're going to rewrite this as e to the natural log of x to the negative log of x. Bring the negative log of x to the front. It's going to give us, um, because this was the exponent, using the exponent properties of our logarithm, bring it to the front, multiply it with the other logarithm of x, dx. Meaning overall, this right here is just log squared, giving us the integral from zero to infinity of e to the natural log squared of x dx. And with a negative sign in front. We shall not forget the negative sign, boys. What do you think about that snack? What do you think about it? Hey, it's, it's Christmas snack. Haven't had snack here in quite a while. Let, let me put you here snack, all right? Okay, you are going to be the, the visitor of the advent calendar this year. Good snack. Now, next up, um, I think we should get rid of the ugly exponent that we got right here. I mean, we don't want the logarithm up there. This is just not nice. Um, so what we're going to do is, I mean, we can't use any logarithm properties, right? This is just this thing squared. No, it doesn't work out. Um, to kind of get the um, e to the log of x cancelled out, but this doesn't work. So let's introduce substitution. Um, let yeah, t, as always, be equal to log x. Okay, now if we were to differentiate this, we are going to get that dt is nothing other than 1 over x dx. Mm, x is e to the t, so if we were to use the exponential function on both sides here, giving us e to the t being just x. So taking the inverse, the multiplicative one, we are going to get that, yeah, no, if we were to multiply both sides by x here, we are going to get x, which is e to the t. Yeah, okay, we are going to get e to the t, dt being equal to dx. Okay, let's continue. If we were to plug this in, we need to play around with the upper and lower bounds a tiny little bit, just like you would play with around with your girlfriend at home. Uh, classic Fleming. So if we were to let the limit as x equals 0 here, then log of 0 goes to negative infinity. Okay. And if we let x go to infinity, log of x is strictly increasing, giving us infinity too. Meaning we are going to get e to the negative t squared. Um, and other than that, we have e to the t dt. Okay, now we have the multiplication of exponential functions, meaning we can make use of the function equation for the exponential equation, giving us negative infinity to infinity integral e to the, 
yes exactly e to the negative t squared plus t dt okay next up um if you were to just substitute this right here okay let's just substitute this for now um let mu be equal to or v i really don't care um be equal to negative t squared plus t but i don't think that this is going to end up with so d nu is equal to negative d 2t plus 1 dt but then we would need to solve for t which is not nice no this is really not nice but what we can do before we do this substitution is we can just yeah obviously um com complete the square if we were to factor out negative sign here we're going to get t squared minus t okay um so if we consider t squared minus t then our middle part if we want to get the binomial theorem out is okay we are going to get two times one half t meaning what is missing for us to complete the square is a one half squared but we can just add it to it we need to subtract it again so plus one quarter minus one quarter giving us overall so this part right here is going to result in a binomial theorem namely t yeah um t minus one quarter no not one quarter one half squared minus one quarter okay if we plug this into here we are going to get the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative okay we need to apply the negative to everything here giving us in the process t minus one half squared and negative and negative becomes positive so plus a quarter integrated with respect to t and this is way better i can already see the solution here so so at first using the function equation of the exponent to function again we can break the addition of exponents up into the multiplication of exponential functions taking the e to the one quarter to the front giving us overall um, the fourth root of e you could say times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative t minus one half squared dt and now all that's left to do is to introduce a simple substitution and then we should basically get a gaussian integral you could say um, let t minus one half be equal to let's use something funky let's use um yeah um b <laughs> we, we are going to use b b to just b is it just me or is the b looking kind of thing and now if we were to differentiate this we're going to get that dt is obviously simply db a dragon ball meaning we are going to get the fourth root of e times the integral of upper and lower bounds won't change in the limit so negative infinity to infinity um, e to the negative b db and yeah this right here is the gaussian integral it's already normalized with normalizing oh yeah th this is cool this is a normalized gaussian integral but with a normalization factor of fourth root of e now i noticed that is cool but this right here is going to give us the square root of pi you can find the link to the corresponding video in the description where i calculated i have done it several times here on this channel meaning overall our final result our integral is the fourth root of e um, times the square root of pi and i hope this is correct and cool thing is you can solve this thing with upper and lower bounds without upper and lower bounds too that is not a problem either because you would get the arrow function out with the arrow function being let me think for a second so if you have the indefinite integral you should probably get something like the fourth root of e then we need square root of pi and then we are going to get the arrow function or the complementary i'm not certain um, i'm going to go with the arrow function here of and then the normal case you are going to get t minus one half where t is log of x so log of x minus one half 
plus some arbitrary constant um, snack. Snack element of the real numbers. It could also be the complementary error function. I'm not certain about that. But maybe I should check what from alpha for that. And maybe also for the solution here. But yeah, that was a cool integral. I really enjoyed this one. I really liked um, the, the fact that this turned into an exponent with the logarithm squared. That's really cool. Um, I rarely see something like this having a nice antiderivative or a solution at all in an analytic one. But that was really refreshing and I really did enjoy this. Um, this improvised session. And if you did enjoy it too, then definitely make sure to watch the other videos of the Edwin calendar too. And if you really want to support the channel, if you think that my um, sacrifice that I do here each and every year, 24 videos in 24 days, um, is worth it, then definitely make sure to yeah, support the channel by checking out Stemage that you I recently created mahogany maple cutting boards and they look fucking fantastic if I may say so myself. So yeah, support the channel and check it out. This is from Stemage.eu. You. This merch you can find over on my personal Teespring shop and stuff like for example the engineering wall clock or this wall poster can be found over on stemage.com. Just look through all the shops that we got and maybe you find something that you want to have for Christmas. And other than that I thank you guys for watching. Um, please stay safe and have a flammable day. I see you on the second day of Papa Flemmy's advent calendar. Ooh, ay, 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 ha, he, he. Ciao.